Hi, I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota, and today I want to talk about why it's so important that we focus more on developing empathy, especially in young people. What is empathy? Empathy is being able to feel in to the other person's experience and to have a sense of understanding of what other people might be going through in any given moment. And what that does is it makes us feel connected to one another. It makes us feel more like we have a sense of belonging and more of a sense of oneness. Now, why are these good things? They're good things because then when we have empathy, we're less likely to be critical, judgmental, and intolerant toward one another. And we're more likely to be understanding and compassionate and helpful toward one another. When we have empathy for one another, we are much more likely to go out of our way to be helpful, and we're much more likely to receive help if people are empathetic toward us. So empathy is a good thing because it enables us to be there for one another. When we don't have empathy, it's much easier to ignore the suffering around us, and it's more easy for other people to ignore our suffering. The other thing about empathy is it gives us more joy because we feel more belonging, more connected, less alienated, less polarized. We feel more happy because we feel a sense of community, that sense of oneness. When we feel alone and alienated, it's a very painful experience. We might not identify it as I feel alone and alienated, but we feel the sense of malaise, the sense of being distraught, the sense of just not being right within ourselves, a lack of empathy can lead to that. So empathy not only helps us to help one another, it also helps us to feel connected to one another and it gives us a much greater sense of well-being. It also helps our physical well-being because when we have more emotional empathy, we also feel better physically. Our stress hormones go down, our bonding hormones go up, our endorphins, which are our feel-good hormones, go up and we get more of a physical well-being. And that also helps us to reduce conditions such as heart disease and cancer, because when we have fewer stress hormones and more of the positive hormones, it promotes better immune functioning and our immune cells fight off any cancer cells that might be in our body. And it prevents high blood pressure and it prevents hardening of the arteries. So having a more empathy leads to actually better physical well-being. So aside from having better mental well-being, decreased depression and anxiety rates, it also enables us to have better well-being. It also helps to fend off dementia because when we have less stress and more belonging, it also helps with our cognitive abilities, interestingly enough. So something that we can do to help fend off dementia, have more empathy, be more loving toward one another. One of the things that happens when we have less empathy is we become more selfish, more self-centered, less able to understand one another, more greedy, more competitive, more likely to compare ourselves to others. And that also creates a more unhappy state of being because being self-centered and selfish and greedy and competitive and constantly comparing never lead to happiness. They never lead to a sense of well-being. They lead to greater malaise. Whereas when we have empathy and we care about one another and we're kind to one another and we're helpful to one another, that leads to a happier, healthier life. So empathy is good for us because it makes us happier and healthier. And it's good for each other because it helps us to help one another. And it's good for our planet because when we have empathy, we also have empathy on a more general level. We have empathy for living beings in general, animals, the plants, our planet. So when we have more empathy, we also care about our environment. We're not just busy trying to accumulate money, possessions, fame, influence. We actually think about how our actions are affecting each other, the animals, the plants, our environment, our planet. We become much more conscious that our actions have effects and we start to care about the effects of our actions on one another. We care and we don't want to cause harm. When we lack empathy, we don't think about who we might be harming with our actions, what consequences might be ensuing from the choices that we're making. Empathy enables us to connect our actions with their consequences. So empathy is good for the planet because it helps us to be more conscious and aware and responsible 
support our planet. So when we think about our next generations, having more empathy will provide a better future for the future generations because we are going to be thinking more seriously and taking more responsibility for our behavior and its outcomes toward the planet. So empathy, all in all, is a much better choice. Now, why don't we have as much empathy as we could? Well, technology makes us more focused on ourselves. It makes us more selfish, more competitive, more isolated and more alienated. So the more we have these wonderful advances in technology, the more there's the risk of us being less empathetic and more self-centered. And so we need to always find that balance between enjoying all the benefits of technology, but also recognizing some of the risks, which are to, in part, decrease our sense of empathy and increase our sense of loneliness, isolation, and self-centeredness. So we need to use our technology with caution and remember to focus on important attributes like empathy, because empathy is good for ourselves, good for one another, good for the world, and good for the planet. I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota. Please stay tuned for more videos. I'll talk to you soon.